I want to our videos this week 14 in the NFL. I'm Peter Loshak. Jeff Cadillac from jeffcadillac.com is back to do it once again in our videos. Game he has chosen this week, Atlanta, Carolina. Jeff Cadillac, Carolina is a seven or seven and a half point uh, home favorite. The Panthers rolled again last week to another win, but they did lose ATS. They're still now nine and three. ATS on the year, though, and uh, the Falcons, of course, once again lost against the spread. They've now lost eight in a row, ATS and another under. In those ATS losses, the Falcons are 0-7-1 and one over under in, uh, in those eight games. We've got a split line here, minus seven or seven and a half. I'm taking Atlanta. I think Atlanta's going to cover at uh, plus seven and a half. I know you like Carolina at minus seven. Tell us why, Jeff, and don't, don't, don't just list the players. We know Carolina's awesome. Tell us why you think Carolina's going to cover the spread. Don't just list, don't just tell us how awesome Carolina is. Hey, 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 who's doing the analysis here, Peter? I just huh? decided to start in with uh, the first 10% of your analysis. Oh, tell, okay. Tell okay. us why, how much you love Carolina and why. Okay. The reason why I do like Carolina in this game yes. is because they did have their little uh, bump in the road last week versus New Orleans. They did give up a lot of points versus New Orleans. At one time, they were up 11 points in that game. Then they were down and went back and forth. They got all the bed bugs out of that game. They went through the game. The defense was playing a little lax. A lot of people, oh, it's funny how during the game or after the game, they say it was a trap game. But before mm -hmm. the game, this everybody's pulling for Carolina. I right. love that. Yeah, I but, love that too. Yeah, you know, it's it, it's after the fact. Right. Uh, I like Carolina because Carolina in the, in December is very good. They're a team that comes on late. Uh, they've always played well against New Orleans also in, in uh, December. But I think what they did is Ron Rivera is a very smart coach. He's one of the top four coaches in the NFL. Yes. What he did is probably looked at the tape. He said, look, this is what we did this week. We're going to basically move on from this game. We're just going to kind of strengthen the hold on the rest of the league as our games go to, uh, towards the end of the season, getting ready for the playoffs. And that's what he's going to do. They're going to retool for this game, coming home from some home cooking. Atlanta. Well, we all know what's going on over there. They started off great in the year 5-0, and and then they've been 1-6 and six ever since. And the funny thing is, is that if you look at the stats, their offense is very good. But the problem is, once they get to the red zone, they cannot score. They've only scored 25 points once. In fact, more than 21 points once since week 5 of the NFL, which is very bad for any team. You cannot win. That's why they're 1-6 and six in the last seven games. Very bad. I don't see Atlanta really doing too much this week, unfortunately. Uh, you know, Carolina coming home, uh, they were pissed off. They shouldn't have definitely given up 38 points against New Orleans. I mean, New Orleans is, is having a terrible uh, year as well. They'll probably go through some retooling on, in the offseason. Now, Carolina versus Atlanta. In the last six games, Carolina is 5-1 and one against the spread. They have covered all, uh, five out of the six games. I love them there. Uh, they, they play very tough. Carolina's defense also is very good. They're number three in the NFL, the defense for Carolina. They're seventh against the pass and number two against the rush. Now, Atlanta coming in, as I said, had problems in the red zone. They're not going to see the red zone too many times this week against Carolina. That's the thing that's going to happen with them. Carolina's going to see the red zone because you know that Cam and company are going to get going. And also, Carolina also, a lot of people don't realize – they have one of the top rushing offenses in the NFL. The reason for that being is when your quarterback is 6'6", 250, it's almost like having an extra running back in the, in the backfield. So if Cam Newton sees something that he doesn't like or he sees the way the defense is playing the, the normal uh, running back, as in Stewart usually in the backfield there, he can usually do that option, the run option, yes, and run yes. it for himself. And we've seen that many times. And yes. Cam has gotten smarter, by the way, in the years that he's played already in the NFL. He's already not taking the chances because he knows he has the eyes on the prize, which is the Super Bowl. And he's playing very smart this year under Ron yes, Rivera. Yes, great. Absolutely, absolutely. He's not playing. He's not making the mistakes he made in the right, past. Right, 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 right. right. You we notice, know yeah. Okay. But if you notice, one of the things that is very important about Cam Newton is that he doesn't sulk after he makes a mistake. He bounces back. Early in his career already with Carolina – you noticed in the first year or two, he sulked afterwards, and usually that meant that it, it, it stayed with him and the team usually didn't bounce back. This year in particular, he is bouncing back from mistakes. 
Very important in the maturity of a quarterback in the NFL. That is why I definitely like Carolina in a blowout in Carolina against Atlanta. Lay them points, baby, because it's home cooking for Carolina. All right, I'm going to be on Atlanta plus seven and a half. Jeff Cadillac is going to be on Carolina, currently a minus seven. A key factor is that Carolina got the bed bugs out, and we know how hard that bed bugs, those things can stay around forever. If you get the bed bugs out, that is an impressive thing to do, and uh, that you know is a key factor here for Jeff Cadillac. Jeff Cadillac, give, give a plug for your website, jeffcadillac.com. Okay, jeffcadillac.com, and analyze all the games, including this one, on extensive analysis for every game, every week, free of charge to all, all the fans and viewers at jeffcadillac.com. Sounds good, Jeff. Thanks.